So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the CFES problem salary queries. So what the question is saying? The question says that a company has n employees with certain salaries, and our task is to keep track of the queries asked. So in the input format, we are given two integers in the first line n and q, which denotes the number of employee and the queries. The employees are numbered from one to n, and in the next line, we are given n integer, which denotes the salary of at Employees and after this, we are given a few lines denoting the queries. If it is of the form kx, exclamatory kx, then we have to change the salary of k employee to x. Otherwise, we have to count the number of employees whose salary is between a to b. Right? So, to try to think truthfully, what we can do, we can just uh, update our vector as. The query is kx. This will take just o of one time, and for second query, we will just iterate from all the index from zero to n minus one, and increment our counter, which is initialized to zero at first, and we will increment when we will find a employee whose salary is between a to b. So of course, this solution will give us clearly because the solution. Is have having a time complexity of n square. So as n and two are both ranging from one to two to the power five, so we will requiring a solution whose complexity is o of one or o of sorry o of n or o of n log n at max. So what we can do? We can use. Um, Order of key or pen with key, key here. So what you should have a prerequisite of ordered set. What order set does? We just increase the size of this pen. Let us say that. Yeah. It's fine. So, uh, you should have a prerequisite of ordered set. So, what advantage you will get in the ordered set is that, as uh, we know, in the set we can include as many as numbers of the size ten to the five, and we can. Apply lower bound to it, which will just give the number which is just greater than x. If we pass x in the uh, parameter, it will it it will just uh, returns the iterator of the first number, which is just greater than x, right? And if we want to suppose. We store in it in uh, y. Then, if we do like this, auto y is equal to s dot lower bound x. So here y will be a iterator. And if we want to access the value which is the smallest element greater than equal to x, so we can iterate like star y. So this is the simple approach for a uh, normal set, but for an ordered set, we have one more advantage. If we want to calculate uh, what's the number, num means what's the count of elements which are less than or equal to x, so we can do by using the ordered set. So, for using the ordered set, you have to include some external libraries and make some changes. So, a clear explanation is given by a famous YouTuber, which is Priyansh Agrawal. You can watch its video. He has uh, clearly explained what ordered set is and how to use that particular libraries in your um, debug and code. So, I will. Move to our discussion, and I think at this point you have 
in the video so what we are going to do here we have the vector 7 3 7 2 2 5 and we have first query of uh, 2 2 3 so we have to find the number of employee having already 2 2 3 so what we will do this is our set so we will make a pair at initially so it will be value comma the indice as the salary can be means two employees can have equal salary and a set contains only a unique element so for avoiding that particular um, problem we can make a pair which will be first value will be its salary and second value will be indices and as we know that all indices are different so each element will be different and there will be not problem of uh, the uniqueness so we will store uh, pair of each employee that is 7 comma it will be 0 at index start from 0 it will be 7 comma 1 next will be 2 comma 2 next will be 2 comma 3 see here we are using pair that's why 2 comma 3 and 2 comma 2 are different if you haven't hasn't used pair then then we will in include these two then this will be replaced by earlier two as state contains unique element and next when we will include five it will be five and four so it is ordered set pair okay so now we know that it will be ordered in set all elements are included in increasing order so first it will give priority the first number so 2 comma 2 will be at first then 2 comma 3 will be next then 3 comma 0 will come then 5 comma 4 will come and then 7 comma 1 will come so when we will make we will get a query of question mark 2 comma 3 what we will do we will find how many numbers are there which has salary less than 3 suppose it is x and we will find how many numbers are there which has salary including 3 and less than 3 so let it will be y so y is denoting number of employee number of employee having salary less than or equal to b and x denotes number of employee having salary strictly less than a so if we do b minus a see this is a is just less than 2 and b is less than or equal to 3 so if we subtract this from this so this will be cut off and we will get all the number of employee which is having salary a to b so what we will do here as 2 to 3 is query so we will find the number of employee having salary less than or equal to 2 so less strictly less than 2 so a will be 0 here because there is no employee having salary less than 2 and b will be salary number of employee having salary less than or equal to 3 so it will be 1 2 and 3 so b minus a is 3 so we will print 3 now there is an updation operation what we will do we have to update the third employee that is this to 6 so we will remove this and it will come at this place 6 comma 2 again we have a query of 2 comma 3 so a will be number of employee having salary less than 2 that is 0 and b is number of employee having salary less than or equal to 3 
that is two this one and this one so b minus a is coming out to be two so we will print two so this was all over the solution the only requisite is ordered set i will show you the code yeah so first i have taken n and q as input and then make a vector and taken the input of the vector and i have created the ordered set here which i was discussing at first so for ordered set you have to include uh, these three lines in your code this is already included but this four six and seventh line you have to include for working of this ordered set template and after this i have inserted all the uh, pairs in the vector in the set sorry is dot insert i have first make a pair and then insert it into the set and after this i have make a map which uh, denotes what's the current ith position value means ith position ith indices of uh, employee salary and then i have apply a loop from 0 to 2 minus 1 and i have taken a character as input and if character is exclamatory mark we have taken k and x as input and decremented the k value because it's a zero bit indices and as the mp of k will denote the salary of k employee it will be our old value in this particular query we have to update its value so what we will do we will make two pairs one will be the old value which we have to erase and one will be a new value which we have to insert so what will we will erase the first old value and insert a new value and then update our map that is the kth employee will have the new value otherwise when we have to print the particular uh, number of employees having salary between a to b what i am going to do i am i am taking input a and b and making two pairs the first will be a to 0 why a to 0 because we have to find all the numbers having um, number of employees having salary less than a so why i have taken the second parameter as 0 because if all the indices are starting from 0 so this will be only this will not include any of the particular uh, value let's say for showing this what i i am doing here i will give you one example my slide is not changing Don't that size is not changing. I will put one here. So here, so we we are having so we are having three, seven, two, two, five. Right, and we have include three zero seven one two 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 three and five four. Right. So, if you have taken a as b comma zero, so first query is. Suppose seven comma ten. We have to find all the number of employee having salary between seven comma ten. So in this, the answer should be uh, 
the answer should be one because there is single employee. So when we will do find the number of employee having salary less than A will be denoted number of employee having salary. This is the input and this is also for our execution of code. A is just finding number of employee having salary less than seven. So if we find a pair having value between less than or equal to uh, seven comma int max, let's suppose. So this will be one, and the salary less than or equal to ten. This will be five. So five minus four, it is four. So seven comma ten. Oh, sorry, I have made a mistake here. It should be in increasing order. So here two comma two, two comma three, three comma zero. Five comma four and seven comma one. Right. So number of employee <coughs> less than seven is one, two, three, four. We are passing seven comma into max. So this should be less than seven also and less than into max also. So less than seven. All are less than seven, so it will be four, and less than ten is five. So five minus four, we are getting one as output. So I think passing int max and zero all will work. It's no doubt. So a comma zero and b comma int max. So Solution is work. Let us find out if we pass in max here whether this solution also works or not. It's already copied. Why it's taking a lot of time here? So now just we will try to submit the code. Oh, we are getting wrong answer. No, no. Yeah, we are getting wrong answer. We are getting one and one. Why so? But here we will find that it was working for. Two and three. So number of employee less than two is zero. So here k will be zero. Number of employee less than three is. Oh, it should be zero because number of employee less than equal to. Two comma int max will include these two, but we have to ignore this. That's why I have taken first in as zero. Now this will work. Yeah, this will be absolutely should be zero, and this should be should be int max because if we take seven comma zero, so this will not be included in our answer in B, but we have to include because we want to include which has salary less than or equal to B. So this was all about the solution of this problem. I hope you like it. If you have any difficulty, feel free to ask in the comment section. I will definitely try to answer all of them. Thank you.